Hi, I'm Florian Kohler, also known as Venom. Hi, I'm Barry Figueroa. And today we're going to tell you all about cue ball control. First, we're going to learn how to identify a tangent. Secondly, we're going to figure out how to manipulate the tangent, cheat it if you want to say. Then we're going to talk about the side spin, how to take it to advantage. And lastly, we're going to do some exercise and put a few drills for Valerie to uh, improve her game and help you guys the same way. Let's get started with tangent line. So first, what really is a tangent line? So the tangent line is the line the cue ball is going to follow after impact, after natural impact. So we're using the cues here. So you see that's where I'm going to be making the one ball. And this is the line the cue ball is going to follow. That's basically a perpendicular, perpendicular line from the impact of the one ball. So again, keep in mind, this is only working if your cue ball is sliding, meaning if you shoot too soft or too hard, this will move the line. Because if the cue ball is rolling rather than sliding, it will not follow the tangent. Okay, so in this case here, we deliberately put a very common shot that I call the scratch shot, meaning the one goes here and the cue ball is gonna follow naturally into that corner. We'll let you know in a little bit how to change the tangent so you do not scratch, but in this case, we actually try to scratch on purpose. So as you can see, that cue ball followed exactly the natural path for the tangent line, scratch straight in. Like I mentioned, we'll teach you how to avoid that. Let's look at the two ball now. So the two ball obviously is gonna go in this pocket. So Valerie is gonna draw the line from the two to the pocket. There you go. And basically I'm gonna draw this other line to kind of show you where my cue ball is gonna go. So it should be somewhere around this spot. You know, obviously depending how hard you hit it, it's gonna modify a little bit of tangent, but in this case it should be pretty close. So remember, it's always a medium shot. There, so we ended up exactly where we said, right there in this zone. And let's try to identify another tangent here with the three ball. So I'm gonna let, again, Valerie draw the line from the three to the middle pocket. And I'm gonna go out here and show you exactly where it would go. So this would be the perpendicular, so we're supposed to arrive around here. So again, remember, this is, you know, with a medium stroke. Not too soft, not too hard. So it went down a little bit, but it's probably because I didn't hit the ball perfectly full. And again, this will happen as well, so it's probably good I did it. Meaning, you know, if I didn't hit exactly the center, but more on this side, that would explain why my tangent went a little lower. But that's pretty much all it is for tangent. Just make sure you identify them and always use them to play position for your next shot. Let's see how about how to modify this tangent now, or how I like to call it, cheating the tangent. Because, you know, again, same shots, cue ball there, one ball here, natural scratching line, natural tangent, right there. So I'm gonna explain to you how follow is basically gonna go towards this way and draw towards this way, which is sort of natural. We all know draw comes back and follow goes forward. Now, the force is also gonna affect that, meaning the softer I go, the, soft, the more I'm gonna be there, and the harder I go, the closer I'm gonna be to the corner. So I'm gonna do a few different uh, options. Actually, I'm gonna use all follow and all draw with different force. Still making the same shot and see wherever we end up going. All right, so this one is gonna be soft follow. So as you can see, because it was less slide, I was able to go towards the center of the table more. Now we're gonna go into a medium follow. Let's keep going here and do a hard follow. So it's gonna be closer to the corner. There we go. And now let's switch back to draw. So we're gonna do this on the four ball. First, a hard draw. So again, yeah, close to the rail out there. Exactly like where is pointing. Pretty much really close to the corner, so not exactly the favorable option, but sometimes you don't have a choice. We're gonna go to a medium force draw. Just a little above it. And then the last one will be a soft draw. This is where you gotta have the best quality of the shots and it's probably gonna go higher. There we go. So you can see, you know, it was a wide range of shots from basically here to here, 
while the tangent is going straight through the middle. So really, if you use the right spin and the right, actually, you know, top or bottom and the right force, you really can manipulate the tangent to your advantage and play the best position for the next shot. This is cue ball drill number one. This one, we're gonna use only top and bottom, so only draw and follow. Uh, in this case, we have little markers on the table, as you can see there for the 10 ball, which is basically the diamond line, and the, ten, the cue ball a little bit away from it. Uh, the goal here is for Valerie to hit the cue ball into the 10, make the 10 in the middle, and touch the one ball. Once that is done, we're gonna remove the one on the equation and reset the ball, the 10 ball and the cue ball again, exactly at the same spot. So this eliminates all the variables, so she really has to do a different kind of shot every shot here to just reach a different spot. So basically, if she's gonna keep going, then hit the two, then reset, hit the three, hit the four, hit the five, keep going until the nine ball. So we're gonna start with a follow, end up with a draw with all the variation in between. It's pretty tricky, but I have good confidence in her. Thank you. Let's now study the consequence of side spin for your tangent line. All right, so we're gonna, a little setup situation here again. The cue ball's right here, one ball in there. The idea is to hit the cue ball into the one, cut the one in the middle, and then go up there. So we know the tangent can be bent with draw and follow this way. Now let's see what the side spin is gonna do. Again, you gotta remember side spin is only in effect if you hit a rail after impact, meaning you could put as much left or right in here if you stop somewhere there. This is not gonna affect your tangents, only after rail. Okay, so let's first identify where is the standard tangent from these shots, which should be somewhere right there. There we go. So this was a natural tangent. The valley is gonna replace the two ball. And we're gonna try to do a left side spin. So left English, which should send us here and then make the ball move a little faster. There we go, so as you can see, this ball went naturally two, three, nearly four rails there. We're gonna come back and we're gonna do a right English shot. So by now you've guessed the right English is gonna send you here, back there, but because it's going against the, against the you know, running English, it's gonna be a little, uh, a little slower probably. There. This is drill number two. While the first one was all about bottom and top, this one is gonna be all about left and right English. So we have here the cue ball, same spot, and the 10 ball out there in the diamond line. The idea here is you're gonna hit the cue ball into the 10, make the 10, go here, hit the one ball. Then you're gonna repeat the process, hit the two, then the three, then the four, all in sequence, all in order. Uh, in my opinion, this is a tougher drill than the first one. So whenever you practice, you know, don't get discouraged, just Keep it going until you get it. And in the meantime, when I wish luck to good luck to Valerie and Thank you. you know, see what she can do with it. Also, what you gotta realize is because the table is playing away, meaning if the balls are dirty, the table is dirty, it's gonna affect the spin a lot, meaning it will spin more to the right or more to the left, the dirtier the ball are and the older the felt is. Now, if you're doing clean ball, 
clean failed, it's gonna slide more, meaning the spin is not gonna affect the cue ball as much and it's gonna slide more towards your natural tangent. So always keep in mind all those parameters when you try to cheat the tangent because it's very important and what works on one table might not work on, the on another table the same way at all. But that's it for the two cue ball control drill. The real question here is what did Valerie think about them? Actually, I really like those both drills. Uh, it helps me a lot to identify my weaknesses. Mm -hmm. So yeah, I think uh, cue ball control is really uh, important. an important part. Yeah, I, I think you'll find that it's going to be the same for most people. Uh, usually most people have no trouble with a few shots and then come one or two and then you just can't seem to make it. So it really helps you identify what kind of part of problem you have in your game and what you got to work on. Uh, as usual, you know, I'll say go to the table, get some practice. Any question, please comment below, let us know what you think. We'll try the best to answer. And if you have any pool and billiard supplies requests, just go check out pooldog.com. They have everything you need.